Hey, Marty Schwartz here. Let's learn Taylor by Jack Johnson. A big request here on GuitarJams.com. I'm going to teach you the chord progression and the rhythm first, and then I'm going to teach the fancy line at the end. But we need a C chord, and then we have what's called C over B. And what that means is I'm taking the structure of a C chord, and I'm going to put a B note in the bass instead of this C note. So all you got to do is you just got to take your ring finger off, take your middle finger and move it up a string, just like that. C to C over B. And then we're going to play an A minor chord. Um, it looked like he might have been playing an A minor 7, but we'll just play A minor. Just keep it simple. You can take your ring finger off if you wanted. It's, you know, not that different. And then an F chord. Okay, and then the real trick for the verse is that we're going to be um, feeling the strings vibrate under our picking palm. It gives us that, um, it's called palm muting. So it's going to be down, up, down, up. Over and over with the palm muting in there, okay? So it looks like this. So first, why don't you play it with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four. that's too hard for you, as I'm playing that, you could play the C when I, on the first drum of C, like you know, to get your chords worked out. You know, you can build up towards it. And then we're going to play the chorus the same way, but we're not going to palm mute it. We're going to open it up a bit. And then instead of the C over B, we're going to play just a normal G chord. Here's the line that we are going to need. It goes like this. First finger on the first fret of the A string, hammered onto the third fret. And then a hammer on pull off. To the third fret on the low E string. Sorry. First fret again on the A string. And then again, then ring finger on the low E string on the third fret, and we're going to do a pick, pull off. And that's pretty quick. Real slow. You can always play that back because we're running out of time. When are we? I just watched Lost last night. Okay, chromatic meaning half steps in a row from the first, second, third on that low E string.
Then first fret on the A string. Hammered on from there into the third fret. So here's what we have so far. Okay. Hammer on pull off, third fret on the D string, third fret on the A string, first finger pulled off on the D string on the first fret. Here it is again. Third fret on the A string, open, pulled off two times on the first fret of the low E string. Okay, now the fast doobly 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 da. First finger we're going to cover on the first fret of the E string and the A string, and I'm going to hammer on the third fret of the low E string, and then hit the A string, which that finger is covering. Look at my uh, right hand when I do that. So I'm doing some alternate picking there. It's going to be tricky. Let's see. So I'm picking the E string down and the A string up. pick and then pick slide on the third fret of the D string with my ring finger. Pull off open, pull off open. Third fret on my ring finger on the second string or the A string, twice on the F again. F7 bar chord. Here's what we have up to that point. C major chord. And then my pinky is going to be on the third fret of the B string. With the open E in there, and I even heard an open G in there. Let's see. With the pinky. And then ring finger on the G string pulled off to an F chord. That's it, my friends. Here it is one time, really slow. <laughs>